results of our TyraShow.com survey asking why so many young girls are in crisis. Now, one out of three of the teen girls that did our web survey told us that they have tried drugs. It's one out of three. That's a lot. Um, now, we have a drug that we're going to talk about called salvia. Anybody heard of that? Salvia? Um, check this out, guys. Salvia is making front page headlines across the country. And a recent New York Times article reported that as many as 1.8 million people have gotten high off what they call the world's most powerful hallucinogenic herb. Some users are finding its effects so instantaneous and so incapacitating that they've started videotaping their Salvia session and posting the results on YouTube. In a typical Salvia video, the drug takes effect in seconds and then leaves the user almost completely catatonic. <laughs> that looks like a horror movie. I'm sorry, can we like re-whack that, re -whack that and show that again? That looked like that last part to me looked like, you guys know those movies like Saw and all that? That looked, the, the very last one, I was like, oh my, that one, oh my. God, that looks like he is possessed by a demon. Okay, I have to ask the panel, have any of you guys tried this salvia, salvia? Two of you have? Justine and Megan have tried it? Tell me, Justine, about you trying this drug. I have never seen anything like that in my life. Well, I would heard about it from my brother. Um, and one day, I, I don't know, me and Megan decided that we wanted to try it. And it was right before school, so we Megan's went. your friend. Okay. Yeah. On our panel here, Megan is your friend. That's why you guys have both tried it. Okay. And um, we did it. I mean, it doesn't last long. It really doesn't. It's like 15 minutes, but it is very hallucinogenic. So what you saw on that tape is you've seen kids looking like that doing this? Not the last part, not that extreme, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Maybe you were doing that and you don't know. I was drooling, I know that. You remember drooling, yeah. but I'm saying, right? It's called <laughs> high for a reason. You're so high and floating, you're not in your body. Yeah. And there's a possibility that you were like a horror movie. You've also tried another drug. What's the other drug that you've tried? Um, it's not a drug. Um, it's just a substance. It's called Okay, I'm going to beep that out. Right, because that is a substance that a lot of people can have access to. Any okay. kid can go to the store and, and buy that. I'm going to bleep that out because I, I don't want to teach people to, to use that, okay? okay. <laughs> we'll be right back. T-Zone is my foundation that is for the betterment and the empowerment of young girls across the country. The Sadie Nash Leadership Project in Brooklyn brings together girls from all five boroughs in New York City in the hopes of creating powerful young female leaders, and T-Zone has been a funder of the Sadie Nash Foundation. Four of the teens from the Sexual Health Peer Training Program are here today, Erica, Bianca, Katrina, and Ariane. So I want to ask you guys, you guys are leaders in this, in this, the whole the sex uh, uh, department of Sadie Nash. What do you have to say about what you've heard today from these young girls today? Well, I've, I'm 17 years old. I've been working with this for since I was 14. So it's like just hearing this is just like everything I go through every day, hearing teens that are not educated about sex, mm -hmm. about HIV, about STDs, about contraceptions. And it's just, it's good to have that teenage role model mm -hmm. to educate other teens rather I think than that's, adults. And know? I think that's so good because a lot of teens relate to me and they're like, oh, Tyra, you're so cool. You talk to us like, you know, like a teen, but I'm not a teen. Yeah. And you guys are a teen. And the fact that you're with the foundation and an organization that um, put you guys in as leaders to be able to lead that for teens, I think is so important. Because I know teens, you guys, you don't want to hear adults talk about sex sometimes, and sometimes it's gross, right? <laughs> so I think it's great that you guys are being a leader and, and leading by example as well. Thank you so much. You make me proud. We'll be right back. show we're talking about it all sex drugs and violence now I know there's teens at home watching that want to share what they're going through the struggles the different things that you have to deal with on a daily basis so go to tyrashow.com we have a community there that you can talk and share all of the issues that's going on with you and we'll see you later